Okay, I'm going to talk a little bit about scrubs. All right, so firstly, we should talk about agitation. Like, why do we even need scrubs? Well, ad there are three ways to agitate glass. You can either scratch something off it, you can scrape something off it, or you can grab something off it. So nylon bristles basically scratch. The bristles are at right angles to the glass surface, so they're scratching things off glass. And there are non-water solubles on glass that you couldn't get off until window weapon um, because you, you can't get them off with nylon bristles and they're not water soluble so they don't come off the glass. Right? Now there's a whole lot of um, things that a traditional window cleaner would do. He'd reach into his, his rag bag or whatever he wants to call it and he'd have his um, white non-scratch pad, his magic eraser, his um, obviously his steel wool or bronze wool, he'll have a blade. Right? So there's things in his bag that are either going to scrape or grab something off the glass. So what we did with Reach It is we developed the window weapon for the non-water solubles or the things that won't come off with water and scratching, pardon me, and uh, we made it so that you can take those, uh, that debris off the glass and what's unique about, um, about window weapon is that you can do it in the single action. So you can agitate on the upstroke, rinse on the downstroke, no off glass rinsing like hugely, effect, hugely efficient, hugely effective. Okay, so, and then you'll change your scrubs as you get used to them. So I'm actually also hoping that, you know, a lot of our customers are watching this and will actually give us feedback because I'm gonna ask a couple of questions as well. So the first one I wanna talk about is Magic Eraser, which is kind of like we added this for free, um, the Magic Eraser, this one here, we added it for free because we didn't really know at the time whether it would make a big difference, but we knew that the traditional guy is always carrying it. So he knows he can take silicon off glass and certain things like that. And so I wanted that as part of window weapon kit. Now, this is the original um, Magic Eraser and this is the new Magic Eraser, which is much smaller and thinner and it uh, is actually a tougher Magic Eraser so it doesn't break up. And it's also more uh, water resistant in this uh, Velcro backing compared to this one, right? So that's the basic difference. This is now old stock, so it's October 2019 when we're recording this video, and these will go into the store today um, at 50% off. So we want to roll those out. Those of you who like them, those of you who've used them and you know feel like that 50% off is a good deal, go to store.futureofcleaning.com or www.futureofcleaning.com and grab some. The new packs, when you get a window weapon, you'll be getting this Magic Eraser in that kit. Now, you can buy any scrub after you've got the mixed pack which comes with the brush you can buy any scrub like by the box so there'll be four of these in the box or there'll be nine of the other scrubs in the box right so let's talk about what the other scrubs are it seems the most popular scrub is the white non-scratch pad or the green rubber so this is white non-scratch pad it's got velcro on the back so that it can actually um, click onto the velcro and you can use it and reuse it most people don't know very much about what a white non-scratch pad is, but it's a, a nylon um, or um, begins with D, but another plastic, or sometimes a mix. And in the middle is actually a very fine powder, like you'd relate to cerium oxide as a powder that will clean glass. So there's a very fine powder. So if you tear it open, you'll see this dust blow out, right? It's that dust which is your, your non-scratch agitator, right? Mixed up with these bristles, uh, not bristles, but the basically strands. Now, why does it, what is this? Is this a grab or a scratch or a scrape? It's a scrape, right? You have your glass surface and the, 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 the white non-scratch pad is running that way on the glass surface, yeah? Bristles are running this way on a glass surface. Boar's hair, just so we can talk about the old days because we don't do boar's hair anymore, but boar's hair, when it gets wet, gets soft, just like when you have a bed head after a shower or something like that. So you, the hair gets soft and then it's going like this, right? So that's why a lot of guys who are in the desert areas prefer boar's hair to nylon because it's grabbing the clay dirt dust off the glass like this, right? But there are more effective ways than boar's hair um, uh, than which we're gonna share with you. Now the other thing I will share with you nice and early so you understand the logic. So you know if you get a standard window weapon, it's uh, basically an eight inch block. And this is uh, two inches wide, but the block on a window weapon is actually curved. So at any point, there's one and a half inches of the scrub on the glass. Eight times one and a half is 12, 12 square inches. 
Um, this one is 16 square inches of scrub that's actually on the grass at any, glass at any one time. And why is that important to you? Well, because it's the pounds per square inch. You're trying to get stuff off the glass that doesn't come off with bristles. So you need pounds per square inch and you need different levels of agitation and force. Um, so there's a combination of the pressure and the material that, that'll give you your efficiency. Otherwise you'll be on the glass forever trying to get stuff off. So when you look at the other aftermarket copies of Window Weapon, where the people are trying to make something that is like Window Weapon but is not Window Weapon, what I've noticed is that they don't understand pounds per square inch, so here's a tip for them. Um, they're, they're making blocks like this, or there's another one which is a block like this. And so they're basically 30 to 35 square inches, so they need three times more pressure from your body, your calories, your kilojoules, your effort, like to achieve the same result, for example, as to window weapon, the little 12 inch window weapon. So, um, and if you make that pad too big, it's just not gonna work at all, right? It might be nice on, on just simple stuff, but it won't take off what window weapon takes off, right? So, um, so it's really important to understand pounds per square inch. If you have something which is really difficult to get off the glass, don't buy the 16 inch window weapon, buy the 12 inch window weapon because it's got a smaller um, block or like a really small block and so you've got the effort that you're applying is applied across a smaller surface so you get more pounds per square inch to remove the debris in a single action which is the target okay so white and non-scratch pad is a really really um, popular scrub a lot of our customers are actually leaving this on the brush and just running with window weapon with white non-scratch pad for their everyday work and then if they hit something that won't come off with this but remember that they're still using up the powder like a lot of guys don't realize that that little powder in there is not gonna last forever so these do they don't wear out but they lose their effectiveness over time All right what else have we got let's go straight to the other grab so remember there's three ways to agitate you can scratch something off glass bristles going like this you can scrape something off glass or you can grab something off glass so the grab scrub which is our most popular right now we have another one coming out which is silicon um, but this one is a rubber like a TPR and you can see that the that it's a woven kind of finish and when it runs on the glass it grabs stuff off so it's the second most popular so far from a poll we did on the Facebook page um, it's the second most popular scrub for everyday use and one of the classics what we know it'll take off for example is the bee poo you can actually scratch bee poo if you just scrub and scrub and scrub with a with a dupont bristle brush you can scratch it off but you can never get that residue off that there's, a, there's an oily stain underneath or a waxy stain or whatever and you can never get that off with a bristle so but but the green rubber all right and it's gone right like that simple as that so um Green rubber is the one which you go, holy dooly, like what is this and WTF and why would I use that? If you have this and you haven't used it, put it on your brush, make sure you give it a go because this is really quite incredible. And, it, and the next generation of this will, will be alongside it as a silicon um, scrub, which is uh, in production right now. And that is at another level of grab. Okay, so let's talk about scrape. Oh, another grab is actually microfiber. Now, microfiber is quite popular. There's um, the Wagtail um, Wave is a, a, a very sweet little brush type thing with water over the top and things like that. And it uses um, microfiber. So some guys feel microfiber is good. I have a massive concern about microfiber. Microfiber is a grabber, right? But there's nowhere, if you get a bit of debris in a microfiber, it's got nowhere to go. If you look at all of our scrubs other than microfiber, the water can flush, a, a, a grain of dirt or sand or something can, or grit can, can go backwards into the, into the scrub, um, but microfiber can't. So if you do hit something which is gonna scratch glass, uh, it could well easily be caught in microfiber and then you're just pressing it against the glass and you can, you can leave the scratches. So people say to me, of all the scrubs, which one is the most likely to scratch glass? The answer is microfiber, which is the softest of them all. Right? By the way, if you want to know why we put microfiber in, it's because if you're in an area like a city like New York and you're dealing with um, hydrocarbons or you're in a factory area where there's a big, you know, belching um, smokestack or something like that, or after, maybe, after bushfires, I'm not sure how easily um, the smoke residue comes off, but those, that, that kind of hydrocarbon pollution 
Yeah, because we're taking off concretions, excretions, or pollutions. Those are the three things we're trying to take off that are non-water soluble. So those pollutions, right, they do not come off with water. Oil and water don't mix. So um, if you get your Dawn or your GG4 or whatever and you squirt some onto your microfiber, you can basically break down all of the hydrocarbons and because those two don't leave streaks um, or spots, then you can just carry on rinsing and at the moment you've got to bring the pole down and refresh the detergent you know, from time to time or you might find a more efficient way is just to go and you know, put the detergent up for you know, five or six um, windows at a time and then come back and do the rinse and things like that. So that's, that is still out for the jury to work out the most effective way to do that but that's why we have the microfiber scrub. <laughs> you really had me there. Okay, so these are all of our scrape scrubs, right? So in your traditional rag bag, you have your steel wool, bronze wool, um, you have your blade, and that's pretty much it. So let's go through all of our scrapes. Now remembering a scrape, it means that the, the, the agitating surface is running parallel to the glass. So it's scraping things off the glass. This is stainless steel wool. So you'd be used to using steel wool, which rusts inside of 15 minutes, and then you've got a whole other problem, and then your bucket is brown and all that sort of stuff. This is stainless steel, so you can use it over and over again, and um, it's not triple zero or quadruple zero. So that's a myth, right? That you have to use four, you know, four zero or three zero um, steel wool, otherwise it'll scratch the glass. No, 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 we, we can prove to you. now. We put a disclaimer on every one of these to say it's up to you, you're the professional window cleaner. You should do a little test zone. If in residential, it's like if you can find the guest bedroom kind of window, the one nobody looks out, and you just grab this and you use two fingers and you go like this, you know, 10 or 20 times. The pounds per square inch from two fingers pressing this against the glass is like 200 times more than what this scrub would do when it's on the brush. But if you can't see any like marks or refraction or anything like that, then that glass is safe and this is not going to scratch it. None of these will scratch glass. What they might do is scratch a surface on glass or an oxidation on a film or, some, or a film. You know, there's a few things you, you got to, you, you guys are the professionals, right? My job is to give you the tools to clean faster, better, safer. Your job is to use the right tool in the right place. So we've got stainless steel wool and in the stainless side, we actually have stainless mesh. So we're looking for the feedback on this. How many of you have used stainless mesh? Um, the mesh is basically, you know, instead of the blades being straight, they're kind of curved in that sense. So it's like a chain mesh. And so we're really interested in getting some feedback on this one, but I don't think, um, I don't think it's a, uh, the feedback so far is not coming through, but that may be because nobody's actually given it a go, so we don't know. The most popular one, actually, I, I, I think in the poll, the second most popular or the most popular is actually this one, blue metal. Right? Blue metal is actually a fabric. We, we saw the fabric in the industrial cleaning industry for kitchens. So what they're doing is um, they're cleaning your dishes, they're cleaning plates, they're cleaning your glasses, and you'll see this type of material filled with sponge, right? And then it's a little, little um, I don't know, four by three or something like that, or, or 150 by 100 millimeters. And, and so we went to that factory that makes that fabric and said, can you make it so that we can make a scrub out of it, right? So we get them, you know, this material made. And um, basically it's stainless steel woven into polyester. So the blue is polyester, the silver is stainless steel, and it's a very tight um, amplitude or sine curve. So that one has a very, very powerful cutting edge again it's parallel to the glass so it's a great little scraper right so make sure you have a go at that if you haven't touched the blue metal the blue metal is a is a winner sitting on the other side is what we call the cheese grater now where do we get that from same thing like if you go into your kitchen you're going to find brillo and you find it all rolled up basically they roll it up so it ends up a little a little ball like this and you can find it in bronze or steel or, or stainless steel and the Brillo, um, again, you're using it in the kitchen all day long and it's not scratching your glasses or anything like that. So this has got a much bigger amplitude, even though it's curvy, right? But the amplitude is much bigger, so it's much more, it's the most one that looks like a blade, right? That actually cuts underneath whatever's on the glass. So this one has also had some fantastic results with artillery fungus and things like that. 
so the this is a scraper oh and we call it the cheese grater that's what i was trying to think like what do we call this but in we were down in perth australia and the, the guys go that's like a cheese grater right and the way it works and things like that so that one also is really really powerful we get a lot of questions which scrub should i use the thing we learn is that all over the world you know, somebody says they've got spider web, somebody says they've got bee poo, somebody says they've got artillery fungus, somebody says they've got seagull poop and bat poop on the, on, the, on the windows. And the reality is that they're not the same spiders, they're not the same bees eating the same pollen from the same plants, and they're not the same birds eating the same fruit and whatever, and the droppings are different, the bats are eating different things. So, so you can summarize it and say, oh, it's bee poo, and it comes off, but that guy in that area, he's gonna have possibly have a different experience to that guy in that area where the bees are pooping other stuff, right? So, so it's really important that you consider, you know, looking at your own data, like get as much data as you can from, from our network of people who are using the, the, the scrubs. That almost sounded wrong, people who are using. So people who are using our scrubs, get as much data as you can, but check it, right? Because what's happening to you in your local region may be a little bit different. Okay, so these three are the bronze wall ones, yeah, or bronze, there's a bronze mesh, there's a, there's a tight mesh, and a medium mesh, and then there's bronze wall. So again, we're looking for feedback from you. If there's anything that you've got in a traditional rag bag that you're using that is not currently a scrub, please, please let us know. We'll go and buy that stuff. Somebody just sent us one the other day from a... It's a red scrub that they're using in, uh, from a floor polisher and some guys are using that for a particular whatever it is that they're cleaning. So we're off to chase that down, see if it's going to be a good scrub. Some other guys have gone and bought some you know, from their local cleaning supplier and they're going to chop them up. And like We want that feedback because at the end of the day, like what we can do at Reach It is give you what works for other guys. And then we can have you cleaning windows faster, better, safer. Faster. Better. Safer.